On behalf of the uh, President of the University of Southern California, Max Nikias, and the Provost, uh, let me welcome you to, this, to the launch of this very, very important conference uh, today. Um, just very briefly about the University of Southern California, clearly we are right here on the Pacific Rim. We're also very proud of the fact that the University of Southern California has more international students than any other university in the United States of America. And many of those students, uh, again, I'm proud to say, are from China. Um, I also want to say that um, the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, under which the uh, US-China Institute uh, sits, uh, is very proud to have you here. I am delighted to say that we have six, if not seven, Mandarin speakers at the University of Southern California Annenberg School teaching a wide variety of topics, especially in the field, as you might imagine, of public diplomacy, and communications, journalism, <coughs> communication management, uh, et cetera. So uh, it gives a special pleasure then to, uh, to welcome each and every one of you. Um, I'm also delighted to say that um, just, I think yesterday I received in the, uh, by email, a very interesting paper on the ways in which scholarship in the United States and scholarship uh, in China um, relate to one another. How are they similar or different um, in the United States and in China? And this was written by Jack Chu, one of the graduates of the Annenberg School, who is now uh, in Hong Kong, where he, uh, he got his PhD here. Um, I'd also like to mention that um, those of us uh, at the Annenberg, some of us at the Annenberg School are working on a project uh, that we call the U.S.-China Binational Commission on Trust Building. Uh, my partner in this is Wang Ji Se, who I'm sure some of you know, uh, who is at Beida University in, Hong Kong, in, um, in China, in Beijing. And our effort there is to address some of the issues that you are talking about in this conference. So we believe this is the right topic this is the right place to have a discussion about that topic, uh, and it's the right time. And in some ways, it's the best of times, and it's the not best of times, <laughs> put it that way. Um, the good news, of course, is that relations between uh, the two great countries of China and the United States are going like this. If you look at trade, if you look at tourism, if you look at other forms of interaction, it's a wonderful time because the interactions are growing. The commercial communications are growing. And I know that you will be talking about this uh, in this wonderful conference. And I, I do want to thank Clay Doobie uh, for putting this wonderful program together. And, and I do want us at the same time to keep in mind that we are at a rather precarious inflection point. Because at the same time that commercial relationships and trade relationships and investment relationships are going this way, what is happening to the standards of trust between our two great nations? What, what direction are they? This is a test. What direction is trust going down? This is something of an anomaly. Certainly in communication theory, we would say, well, if you have certain uh, communications going up, then you would expect maybe that to be across the board. But it's not. And so I think if we put on our hats as scholars, we want to ask, what is it that Americans see through their American lens when they look at China? And what do, China, what do Chinese people see when they put on their glasses and look at the United States. And also when they look at their own societies. So I think as scholars, that's an important question. But also as citizens and practitioners, I think we must recognize that this is not a good situation for the relation, for the future relationships of these two countries. And so I think I, I would urge all of us to think as students of China and the United States, and the relationships between them, but also as citizens. What are we going to do about this here in the academy, 
in business, in civil society. We have a situation that is precarious because we would like for those two arrows to be pointing in the same direction. We would like to have more commercial ties and we would like to have greater trust rather than more commercial and trade ties <clears throat> and less and less trust. So I know that um, you have world-class experts who will address this issue uh, both today and tomorrow. But I would also like each and every one of you in the room today to think about what you are able to do as an individual and uh, connected with an institution that would help build up trust, greater trust between the United States and the People's Republic of China. So with that, again, welcome to the campus. Uh, welcome to LA for many of you who have traveled very, very far distances and um, have a great conference. Thank you very much.